welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today I'm going to show you how to create this toddler bunk bed first thing we need the platform I'm going to go ahead and do a two by one I'm doing this in the corner of the room but you can do it in the middle of the room it doesn't really matter I'm just using a fence for this but you can use a wall it doesn't really matter anything to create this as an individual room and then we're just going to click the raised platform and then you can go ahead and delete the walls and fences once you've got the platform in place and go ahead and raise your platform to where you want it I'm gonna go through it about there I don't want it too high because toddlers are slow walking up the stairs but if you place your stairs next to the platform like this you can see I have a gap under the stairs, but you could do it like this and not have the gap under the stairs. But I like to have the gap under the stairs and you can place something under here. This is really ugly, so another little tip is when you're in the wall section, if you go down to the bottom, you can click platform trims and you can change your platform because it is different to a foundation. So now I'm just going to go with this pink colour because it's sort of similar to this wall. So now go ahead and select whichever bed you want. I am going for a very pink room because it is my favourite to do and I'm just going to place one bed and you can copy it or just get the same bed again and what we're going to do is sometimes it will work where it will just snap up in the correct place but it's not working for me so we're going to raise this up I will put all of the console buttons on screen and I'll also just tell you as well uh, but I like to put them on screen just in case I forget to say but it is either 9, control 9 shift 9 or alt 9 to raise if you are on pc if you are on a console you go ahead and hold the two shoulder buttons which is the two like triggers at the back and then you press up on the d-pad the d-pad is the four arrows you will need bb.move objects 10 on and if you don't know how to get that on hold all four shoulder buttons and the cheat bar will come up and just type bb.move objects and then leave a space and type on and then just press all four shoulder buttons to get rid of it on PC it is shift and C and you can type it in and again you just press press enter and then press shift and C to get rid of that now we've raised this up what you need to do is you need to push this bed onto the platform a little bit and you will have to test this for some reason with toddler beds you need it quite far on the platform unlike other beds you can literally put it like here and your sim can still get in it let's scoot that on there and let's see let's do a little bit of a test Perfect, it is far enough on. You can see how far it is on here. Right, next thing is to make it look safe because currently it doesn't look safe and there's not a floor either. So let's create a floor. Doing the floor isn't 100% necessary. You can just leave it floating if you want and it'll be hidden a little bit by using the barriers, but I like it to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna use the basement tool, which is the fifth tool along in the wall section. And the basement tool's really handy because you can make basements from the level you're on. It will not work if you're doing this on a second floor because otherwise when you go down to your first floor you will just have a floating shelf. So you just have to go without doing the basement tool thing and have a floating bed. A basement under this bed directly. You can see I should have just made a basement. It's just a little one by two. Yes, this can be done fully base game because I'm going to use the immaculate shelf. What you need to do is select a colour that is the most similar to your floor. So I'm going to go with this one. It's sort of similar. It's not exactly the same. I'm going to go down into the basement and then put it against the wall and size it up. And then again, we're going to raise. Again, I'll put the stuff on screen for that. And I'm just going to guess. This might not be right. It might not be in the right place. But you can see I've got it too high. So I just leave that shelf there as a guide size this up and then do that a little bit lower and delete the higher one so now we want to repeat the same on the other side and just raise it to match it you can see the coloring might be slightly off to fix the coloring what you're going to go ahead and do is just grab the basement and drag the basement away and you can delete the single wall we need some barriers on the sides the easiest way i find is using something from debug and if you don't know how to get debug, it's another cheat. So you hold all four shoulder buttons to get the cheat bar or shift and see if you are on PC. And you type in bb.showhiddenobjects and bb.showliveeditobjects. So in debug, this is the debug menu. You won't get a menu like this because I'm using a mod. What you need to do is type debug in and then just click on any of the debug things. You might have loads, it doesn't matter which one, and it will bring up all of the stuff if you are on console though what you want to do is go to type something in so it'll bring up the text box 
and don't write anything in and just press search with a blank thing and it will give up the full, like everything in the game. So do bear that in mind, it will have absolutely everything. So it'll have all the normal catalog stuff. I know that's really annoying, but it's the only way I've seen it work. I don't have a console to properly test it, but I looked up it online to try to find out for people. In the debug menu, you get things like this. This is a fence, so you could go ahead and size this down. And to size down on a PC, it is the square bracket keys. And if you are on console, hold the two trigger buttons and it is left and right to size up and down on the console. And then again, you just raise this up. The one thing you do have to bear in mind with this is some items um, might stop your sim being able to get in this bed underneath. If that is the case, you might have to go down in the basement and raise it up to above the shelf, like the shelf you'll use as a guide. But a lot of the fences, and I really like the one from Snowy Escape. It matches these stairs. Sadly, it only comes in this colour. That's why I'm using this colour stairs. I wish it came in a lighter one. That's the only bad thing with debug that you are usually set to the one colour. This is the fence I like to use. And then I'm also going to grab this post, which is just the same as this. You get that with a lot of things are in the debug menu. There's a lot of just single posts. And I will tell you why in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and size this down. So we'll just do it once and then raise that up. Grab another one and just put that next to it. I'm going to grab this post sizing it down to match so now for the end of the bed I just like putting a railing on the stairs and it blocks that end of the bed but you could go ahead and just add another one of these if you didn't want railings on the um, stairs so there we go and there we have a toddler bunk bed that is fully functional I know it's a little bit bulky but it's the only way I can find that makes this work and that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.